Welcome to the Harley J Way. Yeah, hey, the Harley J Way. My name is Harley J. I'm your host. Let's jump right in. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Harley J Way. Hey, the Harley J Way. Hey, yay. Uh, my name is Harley J. Uh, this is the Harley J Way, as you heard a minute ago. Um, just, if there's any bad audio in this today's episode, just know I'm recording this while I'm on a walk. Um, because honestly, I just, I, I feel like nature empowers me. If you check my, my YouTube channel, but check it out. It's called Harley J. The logo is a camera, a black camera with like blue around it and white around it. It's basically like the Harley J flag. Um, cause the United States flag is red, white, and blue. Um, well red, blue, and white. I think so. Yeah. It's red, red, blue, and white, red, white, and blue. Um, but this is red, black, and blue. So. Basically, it's the Harley J flag, and it has a giant camera on it. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, car's coming, so pause. Okay, uh, yeah, so cars, I'm actually happy that car, car went by, because it's a good segue for my next topic. Well, my first topic, not next topic, topic first topic. Another car. Uh, well, that before it was, an electric, it was an electric car. This is a gasoline car, which is an even better segue. Hi, gasoline car that's ruining the environment. Yep, another gasoline car that's ruining the environment. So yeah, gasoline cars. Oh, another two more gasoline cars ruining the environment. I hate gasoline cars. My mom owns a gasoline car. I hate it, but it's nice. It's luxury. And that has an electric car from many, many years ago, and that will die soon. So yeah, basically. These cars, they create pollution and they trash the environment, which is not the good. Did I just say not the good? That's weird. So, this leads me into my tip for creators today. This episode is about environmental tips and how to use, how, how creators can take the environment and use the environmental problems to grow their brand and grow their channel, and grow their content creation. Here's the thing. There's two big... Okay, in your mind, you have two big problems. First off, the earth, earth, climate. It's all dying. Second off, your channel. It's not growing. Well, you don't have... You want want to hit 10K. So you want to hit 100K or 5 million subscribers. Guess what? You only have one subscriber. How do you grow? How... Car, pause. Hi, car. Oh, actually, that's a Tesla. Woohoo! Go electric cars. But how do you? How do you? How do you grow? So the two problems, yeah, the climate and and the annual channel. In your point of view, that's for a selfish person. I'm not selfish. You might be. Hope you're not. But I'm just saying, if you are selfish, and I'm just trying to phrase this in a way because. It's, a lot of, like, half of the people on Earth are, are selfish, I think. I don't know the demographics. I didn't research demographics for this episode. But, yeah. So, honestly, it's just, you want to grow your channel, fix the problem. Fix the problem of the climate. Fix the climate. Promote the climate. That will do two things. That will help solve the climate crisis. And people will care about you. People will have this happier tone Car coming, car coming, beep, 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 oh, gasoline car, you are ruining the environment. So yeah, solve one problem with another problem, basically. But when people know that you're, that you care about the environment, even if you don't, if you say you care about the environment, you lie, which basically then you're going to go to hell, Uh, lie and you say, you care about the environment. I hope you do, but you're probably lying. Because if everyone, if, if you, if, if I didn't have to say, you, if you're, you're probably lying, then we, then there would be no such thing as a climate crisis. Because most people are dumb narcissists who only care about, care about themselves and don't realize that if they care about the planet, that, sorry, that for them, for themselves to survive, they have to care about the planet. So, basically, I'm just saying, because most people on, the, on Earth are dumb narcissists and not rich CEOs. And some of the rich CEOs are dumb narcissists. Like, like I don't know. 
Trump. Basically, basically, so yeah, the climate crisis is real. So, but if, going back to what I was saying earlier, if you use your platform to talk about the climate crisis and you mention it in every video, you might even make a full series dedicated to it or one, a full video dedicated to it. You might even dedicate your whole channel to it. Hopefully you don't, because then, then we would just lose a whole sense of entertainment in the world and sanity. Because we still, we still need entertainment in our lives. But honestly, it's really just, it's really just, if, if, if you talk about the climate crisis and you talk about how to support it, people will have this good feeling. Or if they're a dumb narcissist like most people are, they won't. But a lot of people will. Because not, because only, there's like only like one billion people who watch YouTube think every day. But there's only a certain, not everyone on Earth, barely everyone on Earth, based, uses YouTube or uses Instagram. So that means that even though most of the Earth population are dumb narcissists, a lot of the time the people who are watching your content, car, I hate gasoline cars. A lot of people might not be dumb narcissists. Some of them might be, but some might not be. A lot might not be, but you never know. Basically, a lot of time, these people will get this happy feeling. And they won't exactly know why they have this happy feeling at the end of your video. But they, ha- but they have this happy feeling, so they share it. So what's really about neuroscience, I think. I hate gasoline. Because gasoline has to that There was a car that just passed. That's why I said that. Basically, yeah. So I think it's about neuroscience. I would guess it's about neuroscience. It's basically like the, the analytics of the brain, I think. I don't know. But now, so we've talked about this. We've talked about this. And before I go on to the next topic, I want to give you the the, the the tip of the week, the the tip of the episode, the, the tip of the iceberg. No, it's weird. The, the tip, the marketing tip of the week. Let's just call it marketing tip of the week. Or no, marketing tip of the episode. Because a lot of the time, I'm too lazy to make an episode every week. Okay! <laughs> Let's figure out how lazy I am and how stupid I am. Um, like, I just I put my foot straight into a pothole. And now it has worms and guts all over it. Just kidding, it doesn't have worms or guts. I'm a big, fat, stupid liar. <laughs> yeah. But, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, he's tying your shoe. I was like, wait, uh, you, you, why are you going to the bushes? You're going to go pee? No, no, he's going to tie his shoe. But here is the tip. Here Buy an electric car and care about the environment, you stupid dumb narcissist. <laughs> okay, that was a joke. No, it's not. No, it's not a joke. That is like the, the that vegan teacher inside of me. Don't worry. I won't be like this every time. But, really, here's the tip. Marketing tip is... Know what your target is, who your target is before you make the content. So then you can make your content with that target in mind. And then you can make, then you can like brand your content, put put the right caption, titles, photos, editing, colors to reach that target. So really, that's what it's all about. Car, oh no, not car, motorcycle, motorcycle. Murders like what's even worse. Uh, why are motorcycles worse? Worse. Here is an essay about why motorcycles are worse. It's like one less than one paragraph. Here we go. My thought about motorcycles is that motorcycles are, are, are horrible. I hate motorcycles. Why? Because there's many reasons, of which I will break down in this essay. The super long essay that's actually really short. I'm not doing good a job at this. Basically, wow, I'm out of breath already. Dad, can we turn around? No, we keep going a little while. Really? Okay. Back to the essay, you guys. So, oh dang it, car. Uh, even though it's a Porsche, they're literally paying millions of dollars just 
to emit gasoline. Ugh, bye, dog. Going okay. back to motorcycles. You know what? We don't have a lot of time left. We only have like an hour left. So I'll get through this. I just farted quickly. Oh, I hate cars. Hate cars. They ruin my podcast. They ruin everything. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully it's successful. We're successful this time. Basically, motorcycles emit gas. They emit pollution. They don't miss gas. They take in gas. Emit pollution. And then also they're very, very dangerous. Like so many crashes happen with motorcycles. Of course, more, more, um, more crashes happen with these like scooters. But agree to disagree. No, I don't. No, don't agree. That's okay. That's weird. That was weird. So yeah, motorcycles are horrible. And they're stupid. And if you buy a, a motorcycle, you're a stupid narcissist. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, you're not a stupid narcissist unless you think you are. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to offend you. Please just subscribe to this podcast. I need the money. But if you really care about the environment and there's no possible way you're a freaking stupid narcissist, then go out and buy my book. Two cars just passed me, so if you didn't hear me, in case you're not a stupid freaking narcissist, which I hope you're not a stupid freaking narcissist, go out and buy my, go out and buy my book and support me and help me. Thank you. Basically... I'm tired. Basically. Well, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. You know what? Let's just go on to something else. Non, not about the environment. You feel me? Dad! What? What? Turning around. No, we don't want my, my asthma is already getting inflamed. We'll just walk no, Dad. Hey, Harley. Just Your not getting inflamed. Let's walk a little bit. I don't hear it. No, Dad. Dad, asthma is not about hearing. You don't have to hear right, your right, asthma. Right, Harley. Relax. It, also, when you get anxiety, you get upset. You get anxious, so let's go. Just five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> All right. You can just sit right here. Wait for me. I'll you come with right you. I'll come with you. You can sit right here. No, no. I, I, you're not going to leave me alone where some, where some weird freak you're going to kidnap me. All right. Then pull down. Sorry, so, Dad. We're not, we're not. I'm sorry, Dad, for being the worst kid in the world. You're not the worst kid in the world. Am I? Am I not? Right, stop. You're not. Just don't be so whiny. Just be a little resilient. Okay, okay, got it. Back to the podcast. So, I'm going to talk about a show. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, it's called Tootsie. It was weird. It's a really good show. You have to go watch it. Well, it's based on a movie. Go, go watch the Dustin Hoffman movie. And then go see the show in some way, shape, or form. I don't, have to, I don't care if you, have, if you have to spend a thousand bucks to fly or... Two, two trillion dollars to make a time machine to go back in time to go see a version of this. Just do it. It really will make you happy. It's your money well spent. Here's a little snippet of me horribly singing one of the hardest songs to sing in the world from it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do it, there's a tour bus. These like Hollywood tour buses. They come around my neighborhood. There's lots of celebrities in my neighborhood. For example, Wolf Hall lives next to me. Next to me. Hello! Uh, did I embarrass myself there? I think I did. Okay, here's the snippet from I know from what's gonna happen. Ma 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 ma. ma. That that was person. Three, five, four, three, two, one. I know what's gonna happen. I'll try to go to bed with fear, with fear of fear of flying like a bag in my head. I'll I'll sleep for half an hour. The clock will ring at six. I'll wake up in the shower with a stomach full of bricks. So I won't have any breakfast. Maybe just a little tea. Like when you have to go and get a colonoscopy. Which is, incidentally isn't half of something, 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 something. But anyway, I'm heading. to death for the audition. Where everything I'm dreading will be coming, will be coming to fruition. Something, 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 something. I don't know. It's a horrible song. Well, it's, no, it's an amazing song. But it's horrible to sing for me. I love it. But another one is hilarious. It's called Jeff Sums It Up. Basically, I told you so. Um, sounds like this. Something, something, something. You yeah, F word it up. You really F word it up. And of course, they don't say F word. They say the F word. They actually say it. So, but this this episode is not explicit. And if I say a swear word, other than D, 
damn or hell, which actually, mom will hate that. My dad will love it. He'll fall in love with it. I hate, I hate gasoline cars. That's, that's gasoline. I think so. Yeah. I'm tired of recording a podcast and a walk. Well, this is beautiful where I am. It's in Hollywood Hills. That's cars electric. Whoa. Go electric cars. Actually, no, no, that's a gasoline car. I hate gasoline. So, you know, this neighborhood is amazing. Oh, oh my. This just fell. It was just fell. Dad, you okay? You're just like grabbing the, your back and you're like, uh, 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 pulling on it. It's like a, a, a layer of skin and you just have to pull it out. It's weird. It's weird, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Zaddy, Zaddy, Zaddy. Zaddy, Zaddy, Zaddy. <laughs> that was my impression of a Russian. A Russian named Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. I hate Vladimir Putin. You know, I'm writing a play. I'm the actor's on it. I'm writing a play. I can't tell you too much about it. But basically, there's one part in the beginning of the show. Another rich stinker. Another rich stinker. Wow, so many rich stinkers. Another rich stinker. Another rich stinker. Basically, the scene in the beginning of the play is like, what, this one girl she's like what should i paint and the other girl is like paint a picture I mean, the picture of 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 a man bloody with a gunshot he's dead his head decapitated on a just with lots of dirt and disgust around him he's mate he, he, vladimir putin his name is vladimir putin and then the world the word future on top of him and that's what the, it's, it's really it, it, yeah so and then the show ends with an actual image of Vladimir Putin that photoshopped to look to look to exactly how that how I said like everywhere I go I'm seeing Ukrainian flies which makes me so happy so let's talk about the elephant in the mother freaking room Ukrainian flag. <laughs> yeah, the, it, it, Ukrainian. Ukrainian. I just said Ukraine. So I first said Ukrainian flag, then I said, then I said Ukrainian, and then I said something weird, like Ukrainig. Ukrainian. That's weird. Ukraine. The war in Ukraine. It's going really bad. I'm really supporting Ukraine. I'm supporting. Well, no, I'm not supporting Ukraine. I'm supporting Russia. Just kidding. Why, in the mother bleeping world, would I support? Russia. Literally, no one in, not even anyone in Russia supports their own country. Like, it's all horrible. It's bullshit. Nope, we can't say that because this is a kids' podcast, kind of. It's more of an adult podcast made by kids, so it's a kids' podcast. I hate that. You know, the one thing I hate, really, is stereotypes. And the stereotype for, my, for these walks with my dad is that me, me and him walk and walk he wants to go farther he wants to walk for like 150,000 miles and then I want to stop so so here's what I do dad let's turn around and then that happens either that happens or or he's like uh, 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 keep walking we'll keep walking it's an impression of my dad so yeah I love you, Dad. But yeah. Oh, thank you. But yeah, for me. All your listeners were amazing dad you have. I have. I have an amazing dad. I'm doing air quotes while I say amazing. He is. He really is amazing. So. Yeah, but yeah, going back to stereotypes. Stereotypes. I hate stereotypes. Everyone says because you're a kid, you can't run a business. You can't. You can't be successful. You can't make money. You can't make a film. Now, a lot of people associate stereotypes with these stereotypes that I hate with rules, with laws. But guess what? Either the laws don't exist, or the laws are... There's ways to get around the laws. It's 
Strange. Like, Doctor Strange Strange. Like, Sam Raimi's Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness Strange. Like, what? Here's a spoiler. Like, Wanda killing herself. Even though she's the villain of the story, Strange. Doctor Strange Strange. Doctor Strange is literally like the strangest movie in the multiverse. Yeah. But we live in a multiverse of madness. Oh, another tour. Welcome to Hollywood! Hollywood! Woo! <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I have a fake smile on my face because I have to. Because it's my job. It wasn't my job. I don't get paid to do it. Actually, you could say I can't. I do. Because if many people love this neighborhood more, then the value of this neighborhood will probably go up. And then one day, when my parents die a horrible, gruesome death. Where's my dad? Where, where's my mom? This house will be mine. And then I will push this house into the metaverse. Ow, thorns are all over my legs. Push this house into the metaverse. Sell the, ho- sell the house. And keep the regular, regular house as an NFT. And then copy the NFT house. And build, and then and then create like similar NFT houses, <laughs> and then sell those. But then create real houses based on those NFTs, and basically that will become, make me a billionaire if I'm not already a billion billionaire. So yeah. And how did that come from? No, it didn't come from stereotypes. It came from Hollywood. And the tour people. But yeah, Hollywood is amazing. So if you want, want to make me rich in 60 years, come move to Hollywood. Basically take out a loan that you can't pay off. It's huge. Buy a big mansion. Upscale it. Make the neighborhood worth way more, more worth much more money. And then so in many, many years, I can sell the house. Mm, there's thorns all over me. I hate thorns. Mm. These thorns in this neighborhood, and they make you itchy. They're, and they're not even like real thorns. They're just these plants that stick in, that are so long and so thin, like a giant needle. Like, have you ever seen, like, these giant needles? Like, giant needles they use medical, for medical scenes in movies? Uh, Scott! Oh, there you are, Dad. I didn't see you, Dad. I was lost. But yeah, so. Thank you for listening to this episode. The Harley J. Way, a, a, the Harley, I hate that. So, actually, I love it, but it makes me money. No, it doesn't. I don't make any money from this podcast. I don't, one day, hopefully, one day I will. If you're a brand listening to this, please try to sponsor me. You will get a lot of stuff from it. Including... Like what, for sponsorships, I just have like myself. So for one spot, if one company sponsors me, they sponsor me across all platforms for the price of sponsoring me across one platform. It's really good because I can charge them for an audience of without of fifty thousand people, even though each platform only has a few hundred. Because I have ways to grow and scale and scale these stuff. So, yeah. If your brand sponsor me! Hot Hollywood! I love Hollywood! So, yeah. Thank you for listening. Peace out. Bye. Subscribe!